Okay, now that we have chosen our elements, I'm going to use the apples, our container, and our background, we can get started. I'm going to go ahead and turn my elements off so that I can just see my container and my background. And I realized that maybe I didn't make the best choice. Uh, so I think I'm going to swap out my background. So I'll expand the background grouping, turn the eyeball on, and then I will drag and drop new backgrounds above my background until I find one that I like. So I'll just use this one. It's fine. It's, it's a little bit better. Maybe not. Maybe is it too much blue? Or should I use the grass? I'll use the grass. So all the ones that I'm not going to use, I'm just going to drag them and drop them and put them back into the background grouping. Collapse the group and turn the eyeball off. Now that I have a container and a background I'm happy with, I can use the move tool, which is the first tool at the top of the tools panel, to click and drag my container on my workspace here. Uh, one tip is that you can use auto select on the top of the layers panel and it will automatically allow you to select whatever layer you click on. And so in my case, I only have two layers turned on. So if I click the grass, I can start to move the grass around. I obviously don't want to do that, but it makes it easier to be able to just click the container and move it. And it's going to make it a lot easier when I start to move my apples around. Now I can turn my apple layers on. What I would like to do is zoom in a little bit and show you a few tips and tricks before we get started. First, when you start to move your apples around, don't worry about them falling off or outside of your container. Just worry about their placement. If they are too big or you would like to rotate them, you can use the edit menu. Use edit, transform. So you can use transform to choose to flip horizontal or vertical. And what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to make copies of my apples. And so if I right click on the apple three layer, I can duplicate the layer. And now I have two apple threes. So I can choose edit, transform, flip horizontal. And now I have two different variations of that same apple, where at a glance you might not realize they're the same apple. If some of the apples are too big, if you decide that apple one is too big, you can choose edit and free transform. It will give you a bounding box and you can click and drag to make the apple bigger or smaller. You can also do this to make variations of the same apple so that they don't look the same. If you hover over the corner when you have edit free transform selected, you will get arced arrows and if you click and drag, you can rotate. And so the first thing that I want to do is I want to drag and drop my apples into approximately the location that I want them to be in the finished design. If I start to place the apples and they are not in the right order, like I want the red apple in front of the green apple, we can control that by the layers panel. So you'll click the apple and drag it and drop it and it will sit in front or drag it and drop it and it will sit behind an apple. And I'm just going to go around the box and make sure that I put all the apples in the way that I would want them. I'm thinking that I don't really like this apple here, so maybe I'll put it back here. It's way bigger than the other apples, so maybe I'll choose Edit Free Transform, make it a little bit smaller, and it kind of fits in better. When I run out of apples, I'm going to have to duplicate them, so I will grab this apple here. Notice how I clicked on it, it automatically switched and told me it's apple 2. So we'll control click that layer or right click and choose duplicate. And then now we have two. I'll choose edit free transform. Um, actually edit, I'm going to flip this one horizontally. And then we can stick it in the back. But it's in front of the other apples so I need to drag it and drop it until it falls behind. And then I can kind of nudge it into place. I would like you to move all of your apples or all of your vegetables into place. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to clean up the edges.